comets are a lot like romantic relationships. They end up extremely disappointing the majority of the time. Eh, that's just me talking from personal experience. Hopefully, you are in a wonderful relationship or in a happy marriage. Yeah, it's me, your Planetary Defense Commander, Star-Lord Nuthor7, the T, talking crazily about romantic comedies, specifically Comet C 2019 Y4 Atlas. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Man, I sure hope this comet is not scared. And like most uneven relationships, Comet Atlas is breaking up with itself, I guess, and it is fragmenting. Though, it is technically still brightening. The last time we checked in, it was like at a 5.9, and it is now at a 5.8, and it says here it is still brightening. So let's call it a zombie comet. Requiem for a zombie comet. Fragments of Comet Atlas. There's no longer any doubt. Comet Atlas is falling apart. Around the world, amateur astronomers are beginning to witness the breakup, even imaging individual fragments. Jose de Cuerras photographed three pieces on April 11th. Check that out. And now, did the sun destroy it? Did, uh, what the heck just happened? Did Space Force destroy it? Or did we just get really lucky because it broke up after uh, it was about to pass the sun, so the fragments will not be crashing into Earth and killing millions or billions of people. So that's good news. I took the picture using 90-centimeter telescope at Observatory Meristelius in Ferrara, Switzerland. All right. <clears throat> the breakup of Comet Atlas coincides with a sharp decline in its brightness. The Comet Observation Database shows a drop of two full magnitudes, a factor of more than six. Oh, okay. Okay, maybe I was wrong then. These trends suggest the comet might completely dissolve or desolve. I think that's a spelling error. For its close approach to the sun inside the orbit of Mercury at the end of May. Follow up observations of C2019 Atlas, both imaging and spectroscopy. Would you spectroscopy a hot dog for me, bro? Are highly recommended to investigate the cause of the cometary breakup event. And the whole joke behind why don't you spectroscopy a hot dog for me is this. I've heard people say that, like, by spectroscopying stuff, you can tell exactly what is inside of it. I'm like, all right, why don't you spectroscopy a hot dog for me, bro? And tell me exactly what is inside that hot dog. Although I don't think you really want to know what is inside the hot dog. <sighs> when will I find the love of my life? When will we get a good comet that's like, wow, remember that comet from back in... Whenever, whenever, whenever. Who knows? Maybe never. Maybe eventually. Always keep the faith or hope or whatever. You do you, I do me, and that is how this relationship works. So yeah, maybe now it has triple nuclei. That's exciting, right? Hey dude, but what if it's an alien craft? Yeah, just throwing that out there. Look at it. It definitely is fuzzier. I wonder if this means Venus is going to get pelted with particles as she goes retrograde. That's going to be interesting for all relationships as well. Do the Herculubus. Her, her, Herculubus. All right, so now I'm just showing you photos. All right, so this has been your update, and I will continue to update you if more interesting information comes in. Who knows? This is 2020. You know, everything seems to be on the table. Though, since we passed the Eris alignment peak, hopefully the energy will now start to get better. But everybody stay on maximum High alert, Super Asteroid Fight Club defense mode for the rest of the year. Technically, my guess is we won't see maximum improvement in a lot of things until the ninth month of September. So take that uh, however you want to. This has been another romantic comedy that didn't have enough comedy or romance. All right, and it was very disappointing at the end. Kind of like the movie I watched, Road to Perdition. Man, was that boring or what? Or, ooh, but I did watch the movie Molly's Game with Jessica Chastain, Kevin Costner, and Idra Elbus. That was great. I highly recommend that to you people. If you want some laughs and some tears, and although there was no romance in it. Unless poker. All right, whatever. <laughs> okay, everybody stay cool. Have a great day. And I love you. God bless everyone.